hello and welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how did i achieve this dragon skin animation or the tail dragon tail animation uh, in octane cinema 4d and um, this originally was uh, created by someone else uh, in uh, youtube i followed his step uh, and uh, to achieve this uh, skin and stuff it was pretty good i think you should watch i'm gonna put his link down below so you can go ahead and see the step by step how he built the whole thing but what he couldn't uh, achieve was the movement the tail movement and the animation but i managed to find that and uh, i thought hey now it's even much much cooler so yeah uh, i wanted to share with you guys and uh, many of you have requested for a tutorial but i'm not gonna do the full tutorial or anything i'm going to just go through some of these things how did i achieve and also i'll put this project down below link so you can go ahead and download it and play with the settings and stuff you can change uh, you know the tail and all that for your own uh, uh, whatever project you have so what are we gonna do now i'm gonna just go through some of this stuff i did and, and give you the everything that you needed but you have to have the octane for this so hopefully you have the octane so so you can achieve this same stuff and use the project for your own benefit so here we have one plugin this plugin is uh reaper 2.0 it's a free plugin you can download i'm gonna also put that link so you can use that it's pretty good well right here what i'm gonna show you uh, let's get started so um, what do we have here it's a material it's octane material and from here we go to node editor node editor we have here it's pretty simple it's nothing complicated here so it's not confusing how, how, how I'm gonna achieve all this stuff it's pretty easy and pretty fast to be honest so we have displacement here and displacement input and image texture and transformation and then we have again image texture that goes to the normal that's in the normals and again transformation and uh, here I can quickly show you this is the displacement I've used uh, also I'm gonna put in everything so you can get all these to use for your own so here transformation as you can see if I I can change the skin anytime to different look as you see you can make it bigger smaller and it depends on what type of things you want to give what type of expression of your dragon and so on you can play with these settings you know and uh, it's pretty fast and uh, quick so and for the animation there's two ways now i want to make this video quick so that you guys don't get bored and uh, for the animation uh, there's a two ways to animate this uh, very realistic give the very realistic like touch and uh, i will tell you why this uh, the, uh, what is the difference between two different ways to animate this okay let's get started one of them is the spline line and uh, spline animation and to do so to do so you have to activate this one here point level animation so that you can actually animate this uh, spline i'm going to show you let's go so let's go to spline here now if i move around this you can see the skin is moving The whole body is moving it's animating the whole body and it's pretty realistic as you can see how it moves smooth and there's a movement 
and that's why I think uh, that's the best way to do it and uh, the second uh, way what this other way to do uh, this animation was uh, you actually go to my, uh, this material node editor okay from here you go to transformation here and then there is this ty and if you move that you can see the skin is moving so you can actually animate here the skin easily so it's not difficult I hope this was helpful this video and I hope you learned something and uh, if you liked it you can just go ahead and press like leave a comment and uh, to be honest if you guys have a better ways to do this sure I would lovely yeah, I'm gladly would like to see it and if you could share with me now I'm not saying this is the only way you should do it this is the one of the ways that uh, I thought it was cool pretty nice uh, pretty realistic so uh, you can watch this guy's video how did he achieve the skin from step by step he's showing everything it's pretty simple just like I showed you just display and uh, di displacement and um, it's nothing more of that and um, if I missed something I apologize because uh, I know there are people that are better than me I'm not trying to teach anybody you know uh, how to do all the stuff I'm just showing you how it I did it and this is my way how I achieved this whole animation so you have your ways please share with us and um, this is the way I have done it I'm gonna put the uh, my project down on the link so you can go ahead and download it and play with it so I thank you for your time for watching this and hopefully this uh, helped you and you can share with your friends and if you would like to see more of my videos and stuff like this I'm, um, I'm not only 3d animator or a 3d model or I do VFX and uh, graphic designing and also I'm a filmmaker photographer for a long time so I do have a wide range of uh, skills that I could share with you I know lots about cameras and stuff like that. There are also other videos that I've done and filmed. So hopefully you enjoyed this. And you have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.